imagine it's the best professional development you've ever been to. And by best, I mean the one that got you the most excited, but the one that made you the most excited to go home and make a difference. And then times that by a thousand, and you might be close to the Snemex experience. So I suppose it's um, trying to teach my students who are from a rural community, so regional Victoria, trying to show them that there's more beyond, oh, I'm smart at maths and science, I'll just do engineering. No, look beyond, look for what's going to come next, where am I going, what amazing things am I going to be able to come up with. Before I came to STEMX, I've always felt primary school teachers do a really good job of teaching STEM. They've been teaching inquiry learning for a long time, maybe lacking some of the skills in the science and the technology. So I'm feeling energised and therefore I'm hoping I can energise my colleagues and therefore I can energise my students about STEM. I think it's a ridiculously phenomenal experience um, and one that's going to give you relevant and up-to-date knowledge and um, insight into the world of science and it's something that we don't get in primary school very often uh, and I think that that is something that is uh, um, invaluable. Something that I can pass back to my kids. I really want to bring the enthusiasm and the inspiration that I felt amongst this group of people back to my school and inspire others to join me in implementing some of the great ideas that we've learned about this week. I see so much potential in my school and I really hope to bring others in that excitement bubble. As a primary school teacher we don't see some of the high level science and the mind-blowing moments for me were going out and speaking to or hearing passionate researchers who are just living that, that whole dream. Giving me the chance to build some amazing contacts um, and just really get to know them over the course of a week. A very hectic week. When you look at it on the website, it looks all too big and too scary, but coming here has made me realise that there are small initiatives that I've already been doing, which come under the STEM umbrella, and I can easily build on them, like maker spaces, for example, uh, or these uh, hands-on activities like product storming and everything that we've done here. Seeing the resources, seeing the uh, products of people that are out there and visiting the locations, it's a jam-packed week, and you've got to come and do it. I'm excited, there's lots of changes. I'm going to take some time to uh, let it bubble away in my mind and probably get back to lots of uh, new uh, friendships that I've formed here too to see how they're going. Um, probably in a year's time, I'll, uh, I'll know exactly where I would have headed, but that's a nice feeling because um, um, the unknown's exciting. Uh, getting out there and making science actual, actually practical, hands-on, real for kids and preparing them for the real world. Uh, that really does a lot for me as a teacher as well.